Hi there, I have a layout to share that in process that is titled 12, which is for the year 2012. And I'm using the Studio, uh, Studio Calico October kit for this. And here I am, I started out, I was going to use those uh, pictures that I have here, but I actually end up switching the pictures because those pictures were a little bit busy for this layout that um, I was using <coughs> different papers and stuff and it was a busy layout. So I have several pictures from this outing that we did. This is actually from last Thanksgiving. These pictures are from a year ago. And I have a bunch of uh, pictures that I want to do of these, of this particular day. And the pictures that I end up using, it's not like they're uh, not busy pictures, but I think just because of the railing in these pictures and then the windows up top, it just created a whole bunch of busy busyness. So I went with a couple of pictures that are a little bit less busy. They have skyline in the background. So I'm using this, the bottom stripe yellow and white stripe paper is Amy Tangerine cut and paste and it's called section one and I, by the way I'm I keep I'm trying to figure out what to map these pictures in and I'm going through all kinds of papers and I do settle on that one and it's a wood grain by Studio Calico and it came in the I just ordered the package of wood grains from them the sort of pinky peach background paper is basic gray and it is called it's the RSVP collection kaleidoscope I believe that came and yeah it came in the kit and then I have the cameras is the sort of like aqua turquoise cameras I took it off now but I am going to put it back. That's a Dear Lizzie polka dot party and it's called Perfect Picture and that black and white polka dot is the back side of that same paper. And then I'm going to end up matting this entire layout on a polka dot paper that is Dear Lizzie again polka dot party and it's called Warm Welcome. And that's from the kit as well. And then here I'm going through my embellishments from the kit. And I use that Love This die cut little tag and I'm putting it where I have it there. And I think that may be the only embellishment that I end up using from the kit. Here I'm cutting out this paper because I want to mat the entire layout, but I didn't want to use up that whole paper because I really like that paper. I actually have used another sheet of it. And I do use the manufacturer strip you'll see at the bottom of the mat, that polka dot party paper, I use the manufacturing strip. And here I've decided to outline all of the papers. And it just was that kind of a layout that had that look to it. So I went ahead and outlined. And then I even outlined in between these two mm -hmm. pictures. And here I'm feeling good so I'm starting to put stuff down. And I have a whole bunch of trouble with my ATG, and now that I'm realizing it, I think I originally created this draft of this video, and I forgot to remove this footage, because <laughs> it usually <laughs> is not this difficult for me to get this thing right. 
and I put it in backwards the first time and I don't realize it right away but you'll see I have to pull it all out and put it in going the correct way and it's funny the stress of knowing the camera is on m makes me not when it comes to like that kind of a thing that I've done a hundred times I, I don't know what happens with my brain but I just don't necessarily function right there I am debating on do I want to keep that manufacturing strip or not and then I decide yes I, I want to keep it and here I am again going through those And I, tr I fiddle around a little bit with these, but I don't like them because they, these are uh, some die cuts. I think they're Dear, Dear Lizzie that I got from Two Peas recently, but they are not the right colors. They're, they're, they have like a craft background to them. And this is more of a white background. So here I am now, I'm going through the actual embellishments from the kit. But um, honestly, these numbers did. Th those are basic gray. I think they're hey you maybe. And I was maybe going to do 2012 out completely, but I don't care for the colors of these particular ones. They are a little bit different color than the big numbers. And the, num the, the smaller numbers, the color clashed. <coughs> excuse me with the pink in the background the peachy pink in the background so I went with the bigger ones and because <coughs> excuse me I did that I went ahead and just did the number 12 I, I it's just too big with 2012 and it covers up the picture and so I went with just 12 Here's where I realized, oh, I put that in backwards completely. And so I have to, <coughs> and then I, I oh, good. <coughs> I did turn off the camera. So that's good. And now I'm going to pull out some of the, my bows that I just got. I shared my two peas haul and I got a bunch of bows. I do use one, but I, it do, I don't end up using that particular one. It's just a little bit too big for this layout where I want it to go ultimately. And I thought I was going to use that square right there, but I don't. So again, I don't end up using embellishments from the Studio Calico kit. Other than that, love this tag. Well, and the numbers, the 12. This is a little stamp that came in one of the Oh Dear Me kits. And it says, Birds of a Feather, Love Forever. And these are, these are pictures of family actually. This is my cousin's family and my family together. But even though we're family and cousins, we have so much in common and we really enjoy each other. I mean, I, we would be friends if we were not family. And so, that's why I consider us birds of a feather. And then this stamp says no ordinary family and I believe that oh that's also from a oh dear me hit and now I'm pulling out these little flags these wood flags are from the most recent oh dear me hit November so actually I just lied not December <laughs> Not the most recent. 
but they're perfect for this. And I'm trying to figure out how to anchor that heart one at the bottom left there. I'm going to use a bow to sort of anchor the ones so much fun and the other flag. But I do come up with another idea of something to add there too. So I pull out, these are also from my recent order at Two Peas, these frames. I'm going to use half of it there down below. other half right there and that just really helped me my eye just finish that off and then the flare up at the right corner pointing to the birds of a feather love forever stamp that is a two piece exclusive flare and here I'm putting pop dots on these little flags and I had to cut them down because there wasn't a lot of space to put them And that's where I end up with those. Had to move that a little bit. I felt like it was too far down. And I put that arrow paper clip at the bottom left that I also got from Two Peas. And then the geotag one at the upper right cluster is from an oh dear me kit and now here I am deciding I want a different bow and, and that's the one I go with right there which I love it and I, I used an aqua arrow at the bottom left to pull the aqua from the camera paper and then that's why I, I liked having an aqua bow there at the middle cluster. And I am going to put the wood arrow right there. And then I'm going through stuff trying to figure out what, what embellishment do I want there. I'm going through my hearts. And I like that heart, but ultimately I prefer the open and the middle heart right there. And so I glue that. I'm going to glue that down. using glossy accents that got stuck. And there I'm going that down a little bit better. And I believe that's it. Yep, here's pictures. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I, I believe I do have one more process layout before to share before Christmas and then I probably won't have any others for a while um, after that because of the holidays so anyway thank you so much bye bye